Hey there, Skywatchers. Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth here. We have a full moon on the way. It'll be here on Wednesday afternoon at 2.38 in the afternoon. You'll be able to see it Wednesday night if we have some clearing. And this month's full moon, known as the full buck moon, that's because this is the time of year that buck's antlers are in full growth mode, also called the full thunder moon. And, well, this moon, it's going to coincide with the point in the moon's orbit where it is closest to the Earth. It's called the perigee, so we can call it a super moon. It looks a little bit larger because it is a little bit closer. It can look up to around 14% bigger and about 30% brighter, but you really get the effect when you see it close to the horizon. If it's high in the sky, you really won't be able to tell. This is the third of four supermoons this year, and it is the largest and the closest supermoon of 2022. When you see it, give it a wink in honor of the late great Neil Armstrong. And speaking of the moon, on Friday morning, it has a date with Saturn. It'll be very close to the ringed planet. You'll be able to see Jupiter, Mars, and Venus not far off. You want to look in the east-northeastern sky to the south before sunrise to catch that. And we have been able recently to see Mercury very low in the horizon, but we've been able to see it recently, but you can't see it now because, well, it's going to hit something known as superior conjunction. This is going to be uh, as we get on through the weekend. And uh, that is when if you were to basically look down on the solar system, you'd see Mercury, the sun and the Earth all lined up. Basically, it's on the back side of the sun. It's transitioning to the evening sky in the next few weeks. But yeah, it's going to hit that milestone. So you'll be able to see that pretty soon in the evening sky. But for the now, enjoy the full moon. Enjoy some of the planets out there in the mornings. I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth, Skywatchers. Happy hunting.